What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the popular Shitoko Revival project map as well as the associated car pack. I'm going to teach you how to download them, install them and then use them either in solo practice or in multiplayer online lobbies. With that, let's get straight into it. For this to work, you need to have content manager installed as well as custom shaders patch. If you don't already have them or if you don't know how to install them, I have a tutorial explaining how to do exactly that. In that video, I also explain how to install and use Rain since Rain doesn't come with the default custom shaders patch. Now, assuming you already have Content Manager and Custom Shaders patch installed, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to join the Shutoku Revival Project Discord server. I'll have a link to their Discord server down below in the description or you can just google Shutoku Revival Project Discord server. Once you're in the server, you're going to scroll down and navigate to Downloads and Install and then into Track Downloads. Here you can find three different links, all pointing to the same Shutoku Revival Project map. You can use whichever one you want. You're then going to download the map and wait for it to finish downloading. Once you have the track downloaded, you're going to go back into the Discord server and you're going to navigate to Car Downloads. Before you download the car pack itself, it's important to note that some of the cars in the pack use the same assets as some of the cars from the Assetto Corsa Japanese pack DLC. In order for this to work properly and as intended, you should buy and download the Japanese pack DLC. It's usually $2 to $3 from Steam, but you can usually find it at a massive discount, sometimes costing under a dollar. You should also have 7-zip or WinRAR installed so that you can extract the archive when we're installing the pack later on. Again, you can use any of these links since they all point to the same file, but if you use a Google Drive link, sometimes the file can be inaccessible because it has been downloaded too many times. To avoid this issue, I usually suggest sticking with the mega file links. Once you have the car pack downloaded as well, it's now finally time to install them. I placed the two files that we just downloaded on my desktop here for easier access. Now, there are two ways to install the track. The first is really simple because all you have to do is drag and drop the track into Content Manager. Once you've done that, click on the three bars on the top right hand corner of Content Manager and wait for it to finish doing its thing. Then, once it's done, all you have to do is click install and the track will be installed automatically. The other method involves first opening the archive, then selecting the content file and clicking on extract to. Then you're going to navigate to your Assetto Corsa root folder, which in this case for me is in D, Steam, Steam Apps, Common and Assetto Corsa. This will cause essentially the content folder from the archive to merge with the content folder inside our root Assetto Corsa folder, thereby installing the track. Since I already have it installed here, I'm obviously not going to install it again. Now, here's a really important step that you have to remember. You can't, or should I say shouldn't, install the car pack by dragging and dropping like you did with the track. To install the car pack, first open it up, then select content and click on extract to. Then navigate to your set of course a root folder or paste it at the top and click OK. Since I already have it, I'm obviously not going to install it again. Once that's done, you need to go back to Content Manager and from here go to Settings and then navigate to Graphic Adjustments. From here, make sure that the far plane value is set to 20,000 and 30,000 respectively if it isn't already set so from default. If you just want to drive alone with no traffic and practice the maps, you can select any car you want, then go to Tracks, type in Shutoku Revival and select any version of the map you want, after which you can just click drive. If, on the other hand, you want to have traffic, which I suspect you do, we first need to make some changes to the AI. Go to settings again, and from here navigate to new AI behavior. The most important thing is that the extension itself is ticked on and is active. You can use the default values if you want, but I made some changes since I think they're an improvement. AI tweaks can be turned on, as can the extra options for AI splines. You also need to have Allow to drive the wrong way ticked on, both in practice mode and in track day mode. AI flood also needs to be active, since that's what generates the traffic. The minimum track length honestly doesn't matter too much, but I have it set at 4000 meters. I also have high driver names ticked on, so that it looks nice and clean when I'm driving. The push force basically dictates how quickly the cars get up to speed, 
but if you have this set too high, the cars will crash quite often. So I suggest having it at a default value that is 100,000. Push speed is similar to push force in that it affects how quickly the cars get up to speed, so just leave this at 70 or 80 km an hour. Leave the behavior variation on auto and for the speed limit leave it at default that is 80 and 160. You should also have shuffle colors turned on so that the cars spawn in different colors. Leave the AI race cooldown lap turned off. For the AI retirement settings I like to have the get back to the race after going to pits option enabled. You can keep the other two options in this part ticked off. Finally, I like to have AI rubber banding active since this will, in my opinion, cause the traffic to be much smoother and more effective. You can leave the rest of the settings under AI rubber banding to their default values. With that done, you can go back to drive and let's place some traffic. It's important to note that traffic will only work on the traffic version of the Shutoku Revival Project map. You need to have this specific layout of Shutoku Revival Project selected, otherwise the traffic might not work as intended. With that done, you can now go to track day and let's add some components. Before we do that, let me just show you something by opening the car pack archive that we downloaded from the Discord server earlier. If you go inside the content folder and then inside cars, you'll notice that we didn't just download cars that we can drive, but we also downloaded a ton of traffic cars. So now, when we go back to Content Manager and we click on Add Opponents, all you have to do is type in traffic at the search bar. I obviously also have a lot of other car traffic from other car packs, but this is where you'll be able to see the traffic from the car mod that we downloaded. You can add a car by double clicking on it or by clicking on the Add button at the bottom. You can add any car as many times as you want, which just means that you'll see them much more often. You can select any car that you want to drive, but if you want to test out some of the cars that we just downloaded, here's what you're going to do. From the car pack archive that we downloaded, you can see what the mods are called and then you can type that in into the content manager filter. If I type in Amy here for instance, since some of the folders were called Amy, you'll be able to see the cars. Select whichever car you want to drive and then all you have to do is click go. Once you're in the game, you can leave the pits and, once you're out of the pits, since traffic doesn't spawn inside the pits, you'll be able to see it out on the roads. From here, you can use the Soul Weather app to control the time and set it at nighttime, daytime, dusk, dawn, whatever you want. You can also use the Soul Planner app to control the weather and make it sunny, rainy, foggy or any other condition imaginable. I use a custom mod called Pure to control the weather, so if you want your game to look like Mandai's or if you want my presets, you can check out that video that I have posted on my channel. I just want to quickly mention something. I recently created a Patreon page where I'll be sharing various Pure presets, PP filters and some exclusive content such as driving tutorials, drifting tutorials and much more. If you want access to this exclusive content or if you just want to support my YouTube videos, please consider becoming a Patreon. Now let's go back to the video. If you want to join online lobbies with real players, there are basically two ways of doing it. If you open up the Shutoku Revival Project Discord and you navigate to the AC Server Info tab, you can find links to their official servers as well as their rules. Clicking on any of these links will open up Content Manager and attempt to join the server assuming you have the right track and cars installed. If you want to find and join servers manually, you need to go back to Content Manager, click Drive and then go to Online. If you don't want to browse through all of these servers, you can just click on the search icon at the top and type in Shutoko and click Enter. This will bring up a ton of different servers using the same Shutoko Revival Project map, but not all of them are the official Shutoko Revival Project servers. As you can see, some servers even use the default Kunos cars so that people who don't have extra mod downloaded can still play them. That being said, if you want to join the official Shutoku Revival Project servers, you'll either have to scroll down and find them manually, or join them using the Discord trick I showed you earlier. That's pretty much it for this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you found this content useful and enjoyable. I'll have plenty of more videos coming up soon, but for the time being, take care.